And, um, and so then Pat, then your brother Patrick stayed in England. Yeah, Pat stayed in England. He got married to an English girl. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So he stayed, and then Michael ended up in England. Michael ended up in England too, yeah. Michael did. And then your brother who passed away was Jimmy. Jim, Jim was in England too. Jim worked in Westport in the factory, but he decided to go to England. And he, he went to England. And, but Jim, went, what happened to Jim was he had an accident on the buildings. I think you told me something about that. Yeah, something we, it was something strange, right? Or yeah, he was working on. They had finished in the evening. Mm -hmm. And uh, this chap went up on a digger, on a bond of being high diggers, and he didn't know anything about it. And there was something within in the digger, and he let it drop, and it hit poor Jim on the head. And oh Jesus, he came home here again so a long time after to me and my dad, and it affected him a lot his memory. I'd go tell him a thing and you know something he'd ask again about it. It affected his health, the poor fellow. So he had survived that. I guess in my I think I had thought he had passed from the head injury. So he survived the head injury and came home. He did. He came home here. And then he passed away from He went back he then again to England and he uh, he passed away. He he wasn't the same he was yeah. he, he wasn't the same, you know. No, no, that make yeah. The poor lad. He was a lovely looking fella. Yes, there, uh, Margaret was showing me pictures of him. We were saying that Shane looks a lot. That looks Shane looks a little like him. Yeah. Yeah, Shane O'Grady. Yeah. So that was it now. And then, what about you, your sister Mary? Pardon. Your sister Mary. She did she leave? Yeah, she, Ireland. She did. She went to England. So they all went to England. They all went to England. Yeah. And she met uh, her husband in England, John Gilmerton from Galway. John is alive yet. Mm. John is big age, her husband. Oh, I bet. We've seen him there some, oh, it's a good while ago now. We went to see him. Uh, he, he's there on, his brother is along with him. His brother came from England, his brother isn't married. But, uh, I suppose one of his nephews said he'll have that. He, the, 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 he has a lovely house there, mm. a house he put up and he was an awful handy man. But the only thing he is very fond of. Ah, uh, he was. He was. He was. He was. So that was that now. And then Jane, of course, went yeah. to England as well. Then Jane went to England already. So queer things goes on, you know, life is strange, very strange. Yeah, Jane used to look after me and I used to call Jane Mammy. So Mary had to wait at home from school to look after me. But poor dad used to, if there was any bits of work, he tried to go to work, you know. Right. And uh, the priest gave told him that he, the priest and the teacher they said that, that, that Mary was at home. And you know, it didn't keep her back a bit. She was, she was a great little scholar, Mary. Mary was lovely, she was awful nice. So was Jane too, so Jane looked after me and she, doing a lot for me. So she, that's the way it goes. Oh. Yeah, but I tell you, when the head, when one of the head of the house goes, it's hard. I'm very hard. Yeah, especially when you have six kids. Yeah, when you have a few kids. And your dad never married again? No. No, he never married again. And the poor man, he could have got married, I think, I have them say, but he didn't. Of course, he had a good few kids, you know, himself, and he was looking into that, so didn't even know now. And, he, and this was his farm, too? Yeah. So you took over his farm? It's in the one name all the time. <laughs> From generation to generation. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yes, there were some Maguires around here one time. 
They're all bonded and gone. And they had some great stories. Oh, I'm sure. This old woman told me, Anna Maguire, that herself and her mother and sister, and this was in the house, and they used to all the work, all the hair work around the house a But a neighbour died, and they hadn't enough for money to bury him, bury this person. So they asked him, and her mother gave her she said, some few pounds, a few pounds, that was a lot of money. They said they'd give it back again because there was some of the, some of their, some of the family going, going, going away to England that time working on the farms. That's a way back now, a long time ago. They did pay it back, she said. But wasn't the great to have it, the money? The two, the, the two old ladies and their mother. Yes. And she said they, they made it on, on, on selling butter, milk, and all things like that. And they only drank tea on Sunday. No tea. And I think she said they used they to used eat hardly any butter that sell it to make a few pounds. And they had one brother, Jack, I think they should call him. The poor lad, he died at 21 years. He got... Uh, Pendix, and they didn't know at that time of life what was Pendix. Mm. And she used to tell me that lights used to come down around the apple bush at night. Lights. And she said it was the good people coming for her brother. That's what she thought. That, that, was, old, that was in the olden days. Right. They see these things, and that's what they used to think of. That's what it was. I don't know what to see, but it really stood to mm. That's all that now. That was it now. Yeah. Well, I haven't much more to tell about the Maguire. Well, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate but, it, Uncle. There's, there's more to it. I just kind of think you would, you know, honest. No, it's hard. Oh, I should have... They mean they used to come into the house visiting to dead, sit around the fire. My God, if you... If that was taped, but there was no taped in. But if it was only... If someone to write it down. Yeah. I couldn't be here to write it down because I never talk fast. <laughs> they talk slow. <laughs> And you know, there were great scholars then too, at that time of life. Well, I tell you too, another thing, they were learning all Irish then in this country. And these heaters ran by England. Mm -hmm. And there was no Irish, but when they, then when they started the Irish, it was, it was so hard to come in on the Irish. They kept you back in English. Right. You know. So you, can, you can't speak any Irish? Um, you don't speak any Irish? No, I don't speak any Irish. There was not much Irish when I was gone. Yeah. No. But the kids are all study it. The kids seem to study it at school. Yeah. Yeah, but they're not as... There's not as much Irish now as there was. They're not as severe for Irish. You can join the police now, you don't want any, any Irish. But you still have to have a bit of education. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Uncle. <laughs> You're happily welcome. If I could think of more, but I can. And when I'll be out walking now or doing something, I'll be thinking of more. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You'll be running back in. <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we'll go back now and see the ducks. Yeah, I want to see the ducks. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, dear. Let me get my jacket on. <laughs> <laughs>